I think I'm noticing uh, some of you might have uh, submitted the answers from ChatGPT in the last week's set. Uh, what I will tell you is, um, in the end, what matters is what physics you learned, what physics problems you are able to solve, because we will have that check-in meeting, and in about 30 minutes to an hour, I'll be asking you physics questions, and uh, you can't use ChatGPT then. So if ChatGPT is helping you learn, then sure, fine, use it. But if uh, you haven't learned because you cut corners with ChatGPT, uh, the, the the day of reckoning will be coming, so um, so be mindful of that. So let me ask this set uh, six questions again. You only need to answer three, so um, don't have to answer all six. Just pick three that um, you feel like answering and answer those. Here I'm gonna ask uh, a perplexity these questions and comment on the answers. And, and as uh, we saw with the other set. Um, Purple, especially with the GPT-4, it is beginning to be a more of a um, better learning tool, better teaching tool, especially if you think through the responses and uh, ask follow-up questions. I think you can actually use this to learn. Um, think of it like, uh, you know, being at office hour, except, you know, I don't hold office hours at midnight, but you can use this at midnight. Uh, one major of microscopy without changing into light. What? I don't know it. That's why I'm asking, right? Uh, what? Me? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> it's only a hint. Uh, okay. So, I mean, uh, it's temperature. <laughs> That's what you should be um, using. But uh, it, let's just with the work done, what should be changing is volume. But let's just uh, um, not give it any additional help that uh, takes expertise to know. Between three cases, change in internet caused by heat transfer, the work done, or a combination of two, we can examine this. Yeah, temperature and volume are the big one. Pressure um, could change depending on, uh, through the ideal gas law relationship. Let's see. Heat transfer, and change, due to heat transfer, the temperature changes, right? And if the temperature directly relates to internal energy, there's no work done, yeah. Volume, yeah, if there's no work done, um, I mean, there can be heat transfer and work on. Um, change temperature without. Uh, um, so, if the volume didn't change and temperature changed, then pressure must change because of the ideal gas law, which says. So, I'm going to ask ChatGPT the perplexity of follow up question. It'll probably correct. Um, ideal gas law, which says PV is equal to N. KBT. And really the most uh, important part of this I want you to take away is that it depends on three dynamical quantities, pressure, volume, and temperature. So if uh, one of these quantities change, um, that alone doesn't tell you anything about how the other quantities change. But if you know one quantity changes and another quantity stays uh, constant, then now you can relate the change of one quantity to the other. So if there's no change in volume, then pressure must have changed. Um, I have a feeling this might be useful somewhere, so let me just keep it up. Um, so uh, I'm gonna ask a follow-up question about that. Work done when you turn it changes the work done, then the volume changes. Yeah, that it's a kind of built into the definition of work in this uh, thermodynamics context. If uh, well, in the, there's if there's no heat transfer, ooh, then that's not right. If the internal energy changes, then temperature must change. It's kind of one to one. Um, change it, yeah, so that's wrong. <laughs> um, combination of heat transfer, then work done. It changes to him. Yeah, yeah, so that's not quite right. So this is a really common mistake people make to associate heat transfer automatically to temperature. No, 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 no. Um, <laughs> uh, what you should automatically associate temperature with is internal energy. Um, they are, you can think of them as a synonyms. I guess the difference would be when internal energy can be, uh, it, it, so if you talk about internal energy per particle, that is actually synonymous with the temperature. That's why I'm saying, you know, 
Boltzmann constant is redundant. Because if you describe temperature as internal energy per particle, that would be exact relationship. So um, it's made a mistake in all three answers. Um, so let me let it be. It, it really did make a mistake in all three parts of the answer. It shouldn't have said that pressure wouldn't change if the volume didn't change. And it shouldn't have said that temperature remains constant if the internal energy changes. And it shouldn't have um, implied that heat transfer is somehow connected to temperature directly. It's not. Heat transfer affects temperature only to the degree that heat transfer um, uh, causes the internal energy to change. And there's an example of where you have a heat transfer but no internal energy change that you will see, uh, oh, you will see this way. Um, it, it's uh, the isothermal uh, processes. So let me ask it about, yeah, yeah. Well, we have uh, isothermal processes here, so we'll get to that there. In an isothermal process, you have both the heat transfer and work done occurring in such a way that internal energy doesn't change and temperature doesn't change. So um, the number three is also not quite right. Okay, question number two. Yeah, I think the answer to this will basically contradict some of how it answered it here. I wonder if it will answer this wrong. But yeah, 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 it's possible. Um, yeah, which kind of contradicts some of the implied points here. But let me ignore that for now. Uh, this can occur in situations where he, by an opposing... Okay, not what I'm looking for. Um, uh, it's because we are in a physics class, not a chemistry class. Uh, can you give me an example that doesn't involve a phase change or a chemical reaction? Yeah, isothermal processes. That's the example I'm looking for. Because, uh, you know, uh, so by this point, we are really going to be dealing with the uh, uh, samples of gas, uh, ideal gas, where chemical reactions don't happen. And with the ideal gas, phase changes also don't happen. So uh, it's really a system of gas we are thinking of. So isothermal compression or expansion. Um, the amount of work done balances out any heat transfer. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it. Um, so it takes a little bit of uh, uh, asking follow-up question, but with one follow-up question, it does answer correctly. Uh, expanding so-called perpetual motion machine. Let me get rid of this, which has been defined as um, explained in terms of first law of thermodynamics, why it's unlikely. Yeah. So I have a feeling it might give us some portion of the answer that refers to second law as well, but let's see. Machine that operates or produces this work. Conserve, yeah, it's conservation of energy part. Cannot be created with this. Produces work without input of energy, which violates, yeah, that's it. Um, in essence, uh, we don't have to promote any text operate. Yeah. Oh, wow, it didn't refer to second law. Oh, wow, good. Yeah, that, this is a great answer. Um, uh, now, if you are submitting the word for word, <laughs> don't do that. That is actually a violation of one of So, you know, if you are using these tools to learn, um, it does uh, mean you have to kind of come up with a process for yourself so then you don't accidentally cheat. One way to do it might be to uh, have uh, put in some sort of a separation between your question and answer session where you are using the generative AI to learn and then take a break you know, a day, an hour, and uh, and then come back and try to answer it without referring to the answers you have seen. And when you do it, when it, do it that way, one, you will likely put your answers into the, uh, in your in your own words. You wouldn't be quoting another person, uh, not person, another thing's work uh, ber verbatim. So you wouldn't be violating academic, the, the honor code that way. And two, uh, in trying to remember previous interaction, you will have ensured that you have uh, learned some physics, that you, you have, um, you're not just uh, copying 
from one place to another. You are actually um, recalling some information that you might have learned from previous interaction. So, all right, this question, let's see if we uh, get the all four processors. Let's see if we get all the names correctly. I really hate the name isovolumetric. You will never hear me use it. Yeah, isochoric is the proper way to uh, name it. Because uh, iso is a Greek prefix. You should use it with the Greek roots, like chorus, uh, the, uh, uh, like uh, chorus, I think. That's meaning like space. And uh, volume is a Latin origin word. So isovolumetric is really ugly mixed word that doesn't... Uh, mixes Greek and Latin roots. I don't like that. <laughs> so in thermodynamics, there are four special parts. Isoberry, constant pressure. Isochore, constant volume. Isothermal, constant temperature, right? Adiabatic, uh, no heat transfer. And these two are most often confused. A lot of times people um, talk about isothermal process as though there is no heat transfer, even though in order to make this happen, there must be heat transfer. And, and they forget about adiabatic processes. So make sure you don't confuse these two. Um, and some process must in combination, right? Uh, a process can be, uh, um, a process can be both isobaric and isothermal. Uh, or if it's a quasi-static process, it, like this is not possible. Um, so let me ask, uh, can a quasi-static, oops, uh, no, can I pause it? I didn't finish. Okay, okay. Um, I hit type, hit enter by mistake. Um, can a quasi static process be both isobaric and isothermal? Because the answer should be no. Uh, I don't know what it's answering. Uh, yeah, yeah, it looks like it might be incomplete. Yeah, yeah. It should have said no. Well, no, that. that. That's wrong. Um, I mean, the only way isobaric process is also isothermal is if uh, um, it's basically a null process. Nothing happens. And that'll make it isothermal. <laughs> but uh, how can the pressure remain constant uh, and the sample of gas behave in a way consistent with the ideal gas law PB is equal to MKBT if uh, um, temperature doesn't change and volume changes shouldn't uh, pressure also also change. Uh, I would be impressed if it brings up the possibility of the number of gas molecules changing. Um, that we usually don't do that in class. Skip. Um, doesn't really matter because there's no such thing as isobaric isothermal process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, yeah. So I, I've been impressed with the GPT-4, with the physics 4A. It's possible that as we get into more nuances of, um, you know, the kind of stuff we cover in physics 4B, it might not do as well. We'll see. Uh, CV. The mathematical expressions don't copy over well, so I have to do this manually. Let's see, P greater than C, P. Explain why. Okay, um, you should talk about the work done in a constant pressure process. Yeah, it, it probably will bring that up. That seems like an easy thing. Yeah, additional work done by the gas. So constant pressure condition implies that the volume must change if temperature is changing. Energy goes into increasing internal energy, no work. Um, 
yeah, 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 I'm sure. When it finishes answering, it'll be correct. Uh, finally, name three differences. Yeah. Yeah, because again, people tend to confuse these two things. That's why I have that question. All of them? I mean, Workodon can, it, there's a difference in Workodon. Yeah, let me do all of them. It says two, but I don't, it's not my boss. I don't have to select to two because it said two. <laughs> Uh, three differences, heat transfer, right? Isothermal heat is transferred. This is the part a lot of times people miss. People hear isothermal and maybe you're thinking thermos. So you think no heat transfer. It's the exact opposite. For an isothermal process, you have to have really good heat transfer between your system and the thermal reservoir. I, a, a diabetic one is one that involves no heat transfer, either by thermal isolation or the process occurs re relatively quickly. Uh, temperature change, isothermal temperature remains constant, adiabatic process, expansion, yeah, temperature changes, yeah, because of the work done, and there's no heat transfer to balance that. No work done, balanced by, yeah, adiabatic expansion, work done, results in change, of, yeah, 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 that looks good, um, yeah, that's a um, good answer. Um, so yeah, it's uh, so there are some still parts where it, you know, gives you wrong information, like claiming you can have isobaric process that's also isothermal. Um, so it's, so you know, it's especially when you are using it as a learning tool. It's the question of uh, so I hope when you ask me questions, every answer I give is correct, at, always, hundred percent. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I make mistakes from time to time, but I hope almost always answer I give is correct. So perplexity in this setup might be, you know, like a tutor who took physics 4B uh, last year. And hopefully they are right most of the time, but, you know, they are not as uh, thoroughly trained in physics as I am. <laughs> so they make mistakes here and there. Um, I, I think I can throw that comparison. Uh, and uh, I hope at the times when this generative AI makes mistakes. If you're actually reading the responses and thinking through it, the mistakes like uh, when the one you made about isobaric and isothermal, it's the kind of the thing that you can spot as you think through the response. It's not, um, it's not, um, it's, it, it, it doesn't require deep knowledge um, to spot that uh, internal contradiction in the response.